Hey guys, and welcome to my Crafty Corner. Today we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Flux BMO laser cutter from my friends at Ultimate 3D Printing. So as you all probably have seen, your girl is the official influencer for Ultimate 3D Printing for all of your laser needs and 3D printing needs. So your machine is going to come nicely packaged and boxed up securely as such. And when you get to unboxing, you're going to want to have someone there with you to help pull this bad boy out of the box. It is quite heavy. And inside of it, you will get a little box that has all of the little tools and trinkets to put your piece, pieces all together. So you'll see that we have um, the venting piece. You have the little uh, wrenches and screwdrivers. You will get some tape. You will get... Um, your actual plug, your USB plug, and your internet plugs as well. So the very first thing that you're going to do is get to the back of your machine and plug in your power cord. And then you will put in your internet um, antenna. Now the next thing you're going to put in is your ventilation tube. There is one side that is a little bit bigger and one side that is a little bit smaller. Um, so you're gonna take the bigger end and you're going to put it onto your machine with the silver cap. And you're going to use the little wrench. Um, you'll see it's not a twist to lock. You will put it through the top. So if you look at the little uh, screw that's on there, you will actually rest it inside of that and then you will turn to lock and tighten. Now the good thing about BMO is their instruction manual is super detailed and super helpful. So now we are prompting through the steps on the screen of our machine to set up our internet. You're going to start in the network option on your touch screen and then you will find your home Wi-Fi. Go ahead and put in your password and connect everything as if you were setting up a normal Wi-Fi connection on a computer. And once you establish that connection, you're going to power down your machine and reboot it back up to make sure everything is connected. Now that our machine is all set up, you're going to go over to HTTPS colon backslash backslash flux3dp.com slash downloads and you are going to pick out of the options that are there based on the computer that you use. So now obviously I'm using a Mac so I am going to be using um, the latest version for the Mac software and downloading that. The steps may differ based on the computer that you are using, if you're using a Mac, a PC. Um, so these steps might differ, but you're just downloading a program and you will find where your downloads are and go ahead and put that onto your desktop. Or as an Apple, we move it over to our applications and we download from there. If you have already been playing in your BMO um, studio, you will already have a login that you can sign in and get to our preview page. If you have not, you will go right there to the bottom and you will put create flux account and it will prompt you to go ahead and create your account. Do be sure that when you put in your email, you go directly to your email and verify your information so that the link does not expire and you are in onto your account. One of the first screens that you will see once Beam Studio opens up is to confirm or match your IP with your machine. So if you go into the menu touch screen on your machine and you click machine, it should give you the option to enter or just confirm because it will already be linked the IP machine um, number. Now there are a few things that might have popped up between setting up your account and getting to this point, but I will cover that in another video because I did have to do some troubleshooting. So now let's focus our laser. There is a clear um, tab on the side just, just under the laser, so we are going to flip that down 
to make sure that it is um, right on the surface to what we're about to work on and then you will tighten your laser so that it doesn't drop anymore and you're going to flip that plastic tab right back over. You can keep the laser right there in the center. You can see here that I went ahead and pressed the camera so that I can click on my workspace and this is going to give you a live view of what your laser cameras are seeing on the work tray. So now let's cut our first project. We're going to go to File, Examples, Example of BMO and the default image will come up for you to test on the piece of wood that's given to you. So in order to know which piece is going to cut or which piece is going to engrave, you can see on the right hand side, there are two icons and two categories. If you press the icon, I icon <laughs> and you remove one of the layers, you'll be able to see which layers remain and that is what stays on the engraving category. And if you put back the cutting icon and you remove the engraving, you'll be able to see which are which. So let's get cutting. On the top right hand, you will see an arrow. You go ahead and click that up there in the way way corner and that is going to send your image over to your machine let's look at the machine cut now this is the real time of the laser going back and forth I have not sped up this portion of the video so you are watching the real time of this project in the previous screen on your beam space, it did show you on the bottom um, how long your project will be um, taking to engrave and to cut, but also on your machine will show you this as well. And so we've sped up this part just a little bit to now show you the actual cutting. So this is the laser cutting the outside perimeter of our engraved project. And there you have it. Your touch screen says 100%. It is done. You can open up your safety cover and you can take out your project. Look at how cool our first project came out. Now in future videos, I will be showing you how to calibrate the machine and also all of the different settings that we can use to make the engraving darker or lighter depending on what we would be um, working on and what our project type is.